have two exciting things happening in today's video. One, we're gonna open up this box and see what's inside it. And two, Liv's gonna skate the ramp for the very first time. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go. So where we live at in Kansas City, the weather's been like quite a bit nicer and we've been home a little bit more often so we've had like more time to be able to skate. And so Olivia thought it would be fun to try to skate today. And we've had this ramp for like... Since April. Since, yeah, since April. When was the last time you think you even skated? Last year. It was yeah. at Harrison before they tore it down. So we thought it'd be fun to do this video with this box because we think it's gonna help you be able to skate and just be more confident. If you are a skateboarder, you probably guessed what's already in the box because it set it on top. But if you're not, it's something we're super stoked about. And before we tell you what it is, let's show you what it is. And hopefully I'm not slicing anything in here. Boom. Check these out, we got some pads. And we've got some helmets. Whoops. And they're ready to roll. <laughs> and the reason we got the pads and the helmets, uh, we've been doing a lot more skate camps like here on the ramp. Olivia's actually been in charge of putting them together. So we just did an all girls skate camp. Super cool, super fun video. Let's just put that video right here so you can check it out. Let's get this all day. What we recognize is sometimes kiddos don't always have helmets. We sometimes will give them like their first board. And so we wanted to do some super nice helmets. So our friends at Triple Eight Helmets and 187 Killer Pads sent us this box. There's only like three sets of pads in here. We thought it'd be fun to try them out today. Put some on someone who's a little bit smaller and see just kind of like how they fit, what Olivia's thoughts are on them. And uh, yeah, just, just kind of a way to say thank you. Um, I'm actually like a big fan of 187, so my knee pads that I've always skated have always been like the pro 187 pads. So I'm super excited, but let's get them out. Let's look over some of them. Let's get her padded up and let's skate. <laughs> okay, so um, from someone who skates quite a bit, there's some stuff about the helmets that I like, but I wanna hear what are some things you like about it? Just it's like looking at it. pretty. It's pretty. <laughs> And I like the padding on the inside. That looks super awesome and it comes with extra padding. Yeah, the thing I like about this and you can see it, there are so many times I've been skating at the park and I do this thing where I have the helmet and I will press it against my forehead and it's like sweat galore. So I'm a big fan that there's like this little guy in here that supposedly is gonna be the certified sweat saver. Um, yeah, because there are times I was like doing tricks, like skating pretty big stuff, and on my way up to do the trick, I would just get face full of sweat. So I think that's a super rad thing that they do. It's also nice that as a rental helmet that we can change these out. Yeah, I agree. And then of course,
course, you got your little sticker right here. Little triple eight sticker. I'm gonna have to put those on the boards for sure. And also some really cool information about the helmets. Um, if you didn't know, Tony Hawk right here has like a little piece right here where he says something about them. Um, I actually read it. So he says, the helmets I've worn through a lifetime of skating have compromised between comfort and protection. This helmet has the best of both and it looks good too. And when you read through, there's a bunch of other vert skaters on here and there's even something at the bottom down here from Mike V. I don't know if you can read it, but if not, I'll throw it up here. Uh, Mike V says, this is the helmet we've all been waiting for. This is the future. Nobody else has it, which makes AAA the only helmet brand that matters. And then one more cool thing is you can also see they help support the Tony Hawk Foundation, uh, which is now, I believe, the skate park project. And it's just a cool way to give skate parks back into uh, like some lower income communities, but also just underserved communities as well. All right, after this, it's no longer new. Boom, official. That's the right size, right? Small? Small. Yeah. Throw it on, let's see what it looks like. Ah, looking good. And to tighten them up, there's a little piece right here. You just pull. Yep. How weird was it being that close to the camera? Not too weird. It looks good. All right, let's check out some of these pads. So there should be sizing. Size extra small. Extra small. I'm sure that will fit you. you can see here we've got knee pads right here. Elbow pads, super important. And then we also have wrist guards, which from someone who just broke their wrist, I think wrist guards are now incredible. Oh yeah, it kind of matches your shorts. <laughs> it does. But yeah, those are super cool. Okay, so have you ever worn knee pads or elbow pads ever? Probably when I was in elementary school on a bike. Yeah. So they're interesting. They feel a little bit different. They're like kind of weird to get used to, but let's uh, let's have you sit on the coping and we'll see if we can set them up and see how they feel to skate in. Oh, too strong. You will, so pro tip, if you've ever seen like anybody skate vert or a bowl, they will always take their shoes off Dang. before they put on their knee pads. Huh. Okay. But look at those shoes. And those Bombas socks. So, it should say on the inside which there will be a left and a right. So, flip this over. I'm going to show you guys too. So when you look at them, they all have the size and then they'll tell you which knee pad it is. So this one's the right. You can see XS is the size. Boom, right. Just like that. Does it feel? It feels like a sock. Then you'll go back over here, tighten this guy up. And all the way around, Velcro it to where it's comfortable. Boom, that's one of them. And yeah, you wanna be able to bend your knee comfortably. So lift it up and you can bend, straighten it out. Not too tight. Perfect. I love that if for some reason you take these off and you don't know what's what, it also says which one's which. It is wise to know when you buy pads and helmets, you want to make sure that you can try them on first because some of them are like a little more expensive. I'm not quite sure what Triple Eights, like these specific helmets and pads are priced at. Um, but we'll look them up and we'll put them right here. That way you guys know. But you definitely want to make sure you get like the right pads because if you're going to wear pads and they don't fit, they're actually not going to help at all. And so you do want to make sure, take your time. Um, when you put on a helmet, make sure it's the right fit. Put on knee pads. I know it's like, seems a little bit weird to do that in the skate shop or at the skate park or whatever, but just do it or else you're just spending money on nothing. If you're going to be safe and you want to be able to do it, make sure to take the time to try them on first. While Olivia is putting her knee pads and helmet on, I do want to say there's like a weird stigma in the skateboarding world about wearing or not wearing a helmet. I know when I grew up skating, it was like kind of frowned upon to wear a helmet. And so I do appreciate we're going more towards the direction to where if you're a younger kiddo, if you're just learning how to skate, or if you've been skating for a while and you want to wear a helmet, wear a helmet. It's also
also been cool to see a lot of the guys at skate park um, in the Olympics or in X Games. Like I'm seeing them, yes, wearing helmets, but I saw people like Jagger Eaton has been wearing knee pads as well. He doesn't have to, and definitely things are a lot harder when you do them without pads. But I do appreciate that it's becoming more normal for people to be able to wear pads. And if you see someone at the skate park wearing pads or a helmet, maybe don't make fun of them. Um, encourage them. You know, they're learning, they want to be safe, and maybe for them the easiest way is to know that they're safe while they learn. So, encourage them, don't bum people out. Let people have fun at the skate park. Since Olivia has not skated on this ramp yet, we're gonna just go back and forth, get used to the ramp, and then maybe we'll make some goals of like, maybe go up the ramp and come back down, maybe take like a long turn. We'll make up some sort of goal and we'll see what happens, whatever you feel comfortable with. The park I used to skate at was a very empty and open park, and so it was great for me because I could learn how to make a big circle, but that's also why they tore it down because no one was ever there. If you want to see me do a whole nother video talking about why cities should have skate parks and not tear them down, comment down below. Oh yeah. And you look comfy on it still. Yeah, these don't really feel any different, which is super nice. Did that scare you? <laughs> Did it scare you? No. Yeah. It looks like there's like a massive drop right here. And even though this ramp's not like huge, just like the little bit of the drop can seem a little bit scary. How you feel? I feel great. Let's do the, do you remember how you used to kick your board up in your hand? <laughs> Let's try it. Oof. I was not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do one more. Okay. Ah. Look at that name. <laughs> like a pro. <laughs> All right, let's do, do you either want to try to roll back and forth first and I can hold your hand or do you want to try to learn how to knee slide first? Like back and forth this way? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that first. Okay. I actually feel more scared about learning how to knee slide than I do about going back and forth. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> not, not moving my legs. Okay, teach me how to knee slide. You're gonna try to go up one and then back down? On my own. Start a little bit further back here. Okay. On your knees. Skate, hey! Skate instructor Morgan <laughs> was teaching how to pump. Try one more. On your knees. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> it feels weird. I can understand why the little girls now are like, when, when do I bend my knees? <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> okay, now watch this. Oh. <laughs> okay, what's next? Oh my okay, God, another, one, another one. What? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. What's next? Uh, I do think if you just practice more, like going back and forth, okay. I think you'd be able to do it. But if you want to do the knee slide stuff, we could do that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to go fast, but then it takes me forever to get to the other side it's of the ramp. Funny because I feel like, yeah, as long as you keep your knees bent, I mean, it looks good. Okay, so first thing is get rid of the board. You don't even need it. Oh. Roll it over here if you want. So pretend that you're going to just like drop down like on a both knees and slide a little bit. That is literally all you do. <laughs> so now try to go a little bit faster and do one. That is that literally That is so it. fun. <laughs> try to do one more a little bit faster. Does this hurt the ramp at all? Doesn't. Okay. So good question. And also we have ramp armor on here. 
And so it may look like it may scuff it up, but it just power washes off. Ready for vert. Okay, so the next thing that you can do, I'm gonna show. So the next thing that I always tell people when they get knee pads is to learn how to do it up the ramp. And so I'll show you guys, you would come up the ramp this way, turn and then knee slide down. So when you first start doing it, you can do it really wide, like a wide angle. And then slide down? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So take a super wide angle, you can go low. Am I supposed to go fast? Am I supposed no, to run? You can, you can just walk and turn and do it. Turn. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so the main things with this is to make sure you have adequate amount of speed, you push forward with your knees, your feet are always behind you and flat, and then you lean back. Lean back. Pro tip. <laughs> She's got them. <laughs> Pro tip, uh, you also want to like try out different surfaces first. I've been at like cement parks before where I have had my knee pads on and I've tried to do like hand plants or inverts and I go to knee slide and it like catches because it's like sticky or like tacky and so it's made for like like BMX tires and so it's not a bad idea to like test it on the ramp first because the last thing you want to do is like go down a big ramp on your knees, catch and smack your face. That would be the worst. I'm gonna make sure none of the screws are sticking up. Yeah. Um, let's do... Boom! <laughs> what if I'm one up here? So on this one, try to go almost more sideways up here and see if you can get to like this screw or something. You don't have to jump into it, but just turn and just slide down. Like, okay. That's it. Is it scary at all? No. Do you keep your foot down? Yeah. Okay. Um, I will say a lot of vert skaters will either skate slip-ons or they have these things that go over your laces because you will, look at your shoes, you will start tearing up the shoes. I found this. And in this case, also the socks. But So we did make a goal. We were going to see if she could jump in and be able to knee slide. And honestly, I think she's gonna be able to do it super easy. Uh, do you feel like it makes you more confident on your board? Like, do you feel like you could get on your board and knee slide off? I don't know. Okay. Because I feel like getting away from the board when I fall off the face. So see if you can, just on flat, like go take one step off and then just try to like knee slide. Slide forward? Yeah, just into the, so step off. That's literally all it is. Does that feel more safe than... I'm tired. <laughs> when I see people do this, instead of going up and jumping straight in, I see people go at an angle this way, and it's almost like a, that, like a, a sideways direction when you go in. Go that way? Yeah. So I would recommend, if you want to do it, like beginner level first, I would say just try to get like as low as possible, like crouch way down, and then just try to slide in on one. Okay. So get like as far down as possible. I mean, you could but even just... Being up here? Yeah. So go from there, put... There you go. That's it. <laughs> Is that scary? No, it just felt weird. The thing, make sure you don't have any screws sticking up, because if you even have just a little bit here, it can catch your knee pad. If you want to learn how to knee slide, like, into a ramp, but you don't know where to start, I'm going to show you kind of an easy way that you can learn. So if you will just go up to the coping, you're gonna put both knees on there, both hands on there as well. And when you push forward, you're gonna push forward with your hips and your knees, point your toes straight back and lean back with your shoulders and it will look like this. So to practice the run and jump in, you're gonna go in and instead of going straight down, try to go at an angle, but don't jump like super high. Like you're just, you're just falling in. Okay. So this is it, this is first attempt. So everyone at, everyone knows this is first attempt, no warm ups. Don't get hurt, pat it up. Okay. That's it. <laughs> How'd it feel? It felt good. <laughs> See, it's a little scary, definitely a little scary, but it's not that bad and once you practice that, anytime you actually do a trick like up on the coping, you'll be able to know that it's like pretty easy to get out and just knee slide out. All right, Liz practicing some kick turns now. Oh. 
Okay, before we wrap up this video, I'm gonna throw one of these helmets on too. We're gonna see if me and Liv can get like one little doubles trick, maybe a little photo. She's practicing rolling up and going down faking. She's killing it. So I'm gonna throw a helmet on. Let's see if we can do something like a little doubles trick together. So sick. Right, guys well, i hope you enjoyed that video if you want to learn more about 187 killer pads or triple eight we'll have a link in the description down below thank you brian and uh, just your team there for sending some of these over i know kids at skate camp are going to be super stoked for them um, if you like this content make sure to subscribe for more content just like this comment down below if you want to see more product reviews more tutorials or just more sessions maybe just more of olivia killing it if that's what you want comment down below and let us know we'll catch you guys in the next video and as always Thanks, Thanks for hanging. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for all things faith, family, and skateboarding. We will see you guys in the next video. And as always, Thanks for hanging.